tube. This time, we're doing timing on a 94 MR2 turbo. Turn the car on, and we need to get it up to running temperature before we try to do the timing. Since the battery's in the front of the car, just using extension cords, make sure the ends don't touch. And I don't have the positive hooked up yet because I'm not ready. But uh, that's a good way to get power for your light. Now I'm going to use this silver sharpie to mark uh, the groove on the uh, crank pulley. Um, that's what you need to flash the light on. Uh, and that'll tell you uh, based on the little, there's a little piece that'll have degree marks. And where you see the white line flashing, that's where it's going to be uh, at as far as degrees. So the crank pulley is behind that plastic cover. So there are 10 millimeter bolts holding it in. We need to remove that cover. So you see that little groove? I'm going to mark it white. I use a silver sharpie. See how it's filled in now? Now it's going to be much easier to see from the top side when I go to use the light. So you're going to open this diagnostic port and you're going to jumper TE1 and E1 with a paper clip or wire or whatever. So I used a piece of wire so it's going to be out of the top it's going to be the top row, third one, and middle row, middle one. For using the timing light to make life easier, you're going to want to remove this panel with the three 10 millimeter bolts. You're going to want to loosen up the 14 millimeter bolts that hold the distributor. There's two of them. This one is easy to see. The other one, you're going to have to use your fingers, and it's like right below. You can get to it as long as you use a, uh, I would use a deep socket with a small extension and that should work for you guys just fine. Now if you're all alone, this is going to be a tedious, right? Because you're going to have to move this like very, very, very slight amount and then go back there, check it, come back here move it check it move it check it move it so it's going to be a little irritating i would say have one person over here slowly turning the distributor and if it moves away from the 10 degree mark then it's the wrong way tell them to go the other way as soon as it lands on the 10 degree mark have them stop moving it and then you come over and tighten it while the guy or girl or whoever you have helping holds it so it doesn't move once you tighten it, go recheck it again, and uh, it should be good. So out of those four tick marks, you want it to line up on the second one from the left. So start at the left, you want the second one. So let's see if I can get it with the light so you can see. This is hard. Anyways, I know it's hard to see, but it's on that 10 degree mark. That's really all there is to it. I tightened the bolts back up. I double checked it again. It's still on the 10 degree mark. Um, I'm gonna let it run like this for a minute. Make sure that the thermostat on the dash is, uh, you know, the normal hot uh, running temperature. I'm gonna check it one more time, then I'm gonna shut the car off and uh, pull the jumper and close that diagnostic port. And that should be about it. We need to replace this panel too, but obviously I wanna double check it first. Thanks for watching guys. Now this car actually has enough power to chirp the tires going from first to second. 
Um, so that's good. But uh, set your timing if you have a distributor. Otherwise, you're going to have a bunch of problems. This thing didn't want to start. It was acting dumb. So uh, this should give you a guide on how to do it. Thanks for watching. Till next time, wrench on.